I was born in Kumasi, Ghana, one of five children in an Ashanti family. I say five, but also had step-siblings and really our household was very much a big community of extended family members and friends who had become like family, including even a refugee from Namibia. Raised by a university professor and a school teacher, education and hard work is hardwired in my DNA. My family had a hunger for learning and family trips to places like the Kosombo Dam exposed us to development issues early. I loved and still love learning. Equipped with a degree in economics, math and statistics from the University of Ghana, inspired by successful Ghanaians abroad and determined to improve my life and make a difference, I left Ghana to study and pursue a career internationally. The World Bank was and is my gold standard. It's a real privilege to work here, whether in the field or at headquarters. I can't imagine a more fascinating career or a more rewarding one. But my career path hasn't always been linear. I've had some setbacks and I've been challenged trying to balance work and raise boys, two of whom are twins. When not at work, I can be found catching up with friends, enjoying a good film or the tunes of Miriam Makeba, Hugh Masekela, Kimi Skota, High Life or Ghanaian gospel artists like Diana Hamilton. As an African, I'm hoping to do more and faster for my continent. I'm excited to give back, to champion innovation and to step up our support to clients to address urgent and long-term development challenges. The World Bank is uniquely placed to support countries to deliver on their development objectives, especially in efforts to improve human capital, strengthen health systems, boost agricultural productivity, and increase food security. As we do this, I will also prioritize equal access to the opportunities that create jobs and support livelihoods, such as improved access to digital and energy infrastructure. We must also build resilience to macroeconomic and climate shocks that will allow countries to continue to weather events that might occur in the future. These are some of my priorities as I undertake this new position. Despite these tough and uncertain times, I remain optimistic. Let us strive to find the silver linings and creative solutions, especially with the private sector and in regionally coordinated efforts that will improve the lives of the most vulnerable Africans. And in doing so, let us support and value each other, our collective work and our relationships. I look forward to embarking on this new and exciting journey, working with all of you and our clients and promoting our shared values of respect, integrity, innovation and teamwork and always learning and learning.